Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another edition of On the Michael Mike. I'm your host, Mike Larkin, and joining me today is adult star and a very talented and wonderful one at that, that being Miss Rebel Rocker. Rebel, it's a pleasure and a privilege. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. First and foremost, first, thank you so much for coming on the show. You do a lot of great work in your short time in the adult entertainment industry. I got to say, from the time where you were to where we are now, you've done a lot of stuff that we're going to encompass in today's show. Like I said, you're rocking it, pun intended. So I got to give you much kudos and respect. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. And I think what's great about it, too, is there's so many great ways that a lot of people get into the adult entertainment industry and many different endeavors that we pursue. So for you, what was that gravitational pull? There's modeling, there's the adult entertainment industry, there's all different variables accustomed to it. So how did you get involved and what made you get involved in the industry? Uh, well, one of my uh, favorite porn, porn stars, stars. Uh, one of my one favorite, favorite porn stars, stars. she uh, suggested I make an OnlyFans Um uh, and so with that, I kind of thought about it for a little bit and then was like, no, nah, I don't want to do it. And then and then I'm on this uh, or was on this kick app. It's a text messaging thing. And, you know, people were asking, you know, well, let me see what you got. And uh, so I'm like, OK. And then so like I'm, you know, I'm taking pictures, I'm sending videos. And, you know, my husband was like, you know, why not do the OnlyFans? You're already showing it off why don't get paid to show it off you know and so that's kind of where that's kind of how I got into it is like you know um and then when I started doing my I started you know getting more into it I was realizing how much I enjoy it well, that's the thing, too, is once you get into it, you really start to enjoy it and you really start to see it. You know, as they always say, if you don't if you don't try it, then you don't know what you're missing. So it's one of those things, you know, you can't knock it if you don't try it. It's not the same yes. sense as well with how technology has really advanced over the years. I mean, we have many bits. We have OnlyFans. We have so much accustomed and wrapped into what we get to see. It's one of those things where I have to put it to this forefront. Like back in the day, we've had adult movies. We've had many different, you know, sites and streaming. Everything is really coming to fruition, and thanks to the pandemic and thanks to a lot of great things coming to fruition on the adult side of things, it's really taken off to where we've seen so many people and OnlyFans and many of it's really making a profit, but also really putting out a lot of great content in the process. Yeah. And for you doing that, I mean, we'll talk about the OnlyFans side of things first here because you have a lot of great fans. You put out a lot of great content. You're you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're amplifying yourself up. So how does the OnlyFans side feel for you to what you get to do on that front? Um, I get uh, I get control over what gets posted. I have control over, um, you know, uh, my ideas. Um, you know, um, I'm still brainstorming a lot of stuff because I'm really trying to get, you know, I'm really trying to have my own thing. I don't want to do the typical what everybody else is doing. I kind of want to have my own thing. Um, so that's what that's a good thing about the OnlyFans thing is is I get to make and create my own, you know, what I what I enjoy and what I, I like. Well, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, no, it absolutely does, because we'll talk about this and we're gonna follow up here because let me tell you something, folks. If you've not seen a Rebel Rocker film and her content, very central. You love what you do, you showcase yourself off and doing your thing, but I also have to engage in this as well. Like when we see yourself on camera, we get to see the imagery and everything that goes into said promotion. Like, first and foremost, you're blessed, you're fun, you're vibrant, it does show within your work, but also it comes off as a great portrayal to what everybody's gonna see with said content. Yeah. And what I love about it too as well, because we'll we'll touch base on this now. Jeff's Models provides a lot of great talent for plus size talent and a you know amazing talent in that regard. But for you, mm -hmm. Jeff Models being the great content creator he is, talk about working with him. I know you did a solo scene. I know you did a scene with Chelsea Dagger. Let's talk about that work that you did with Jeff. Um, that was that was a that I reached out to him. Um, I'm like you know, hey, I, I'm interested in shooting for for you, and uh, he replied back and. Um, I went down to LA and um, it, it was a lot of fun. It was, you know, you're going to do this and you're going to do, you know, th this is what I'd like for you to do. And and I basically had to come up with um, for my solo scene. I had to, uh, you know, figure out how I wanted my, my scene to go, but with the scene with Chelsea and uh, uh, the, the scene with Chelsea and Jay, um, I, uh, you know, I didn't have too much control in, in, in that particular scene um but it was a lot of fun filming it i mean and i'll start with the solo scene first of all very hot very central very sexy you did your thing i i gotta say this because i mean for me 
everybody has their different preferences. Everybody's very unique in what they like to expand the horizons, but there's always something that's encapsulated in a very solo scene because it reminds us of like us when we get our, like a playboy or a hustler, what have you, we see those particular images. We see what we <laughs> like, what really what we attract. So, I mean, you did justice there. I will say that you did a great solo scene. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and well. I really started too. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had a chance to watch the scene. Uh, um, but uh, I actually squirted uh, that that particular scene, and it was it was a lot of fun. I, I was kind of surprised. <laughs> I'll say this: you did get the bed wet. For those who have not seen the film, you do your thing, and the bed does get wet. So, yeah. <laughs> a little spoiler: it happens, though. But yes. yeah, no, that's the great thing. And also, you chose great chemistry with yourself just on the screen, and also with Chelsea Dagger. But you've also done some great films with another beautiful talent, plus size model, BBW talent. I'm talking about the beautiful Miss Sydney Scream. She did a strap on scene with her. Really central, really showcases the two of you externally. So for you, let's talk about Sydney Screams because it's another one that's very sexy. Oh, she's she's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, great to work with. Same with Chelsea and NJ. They're 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 they they're very good performers. Very professional. Very fun. Down to earth people. Um, it was a lot of it was a really good time, and I I I definitely would love to do it again. Sydney, uh, Sydney's um. The scene with Sydney, oh, I, it just, it was, it was amazing. She's very friendly, very down to earth, very um, informational about things. And um, I felt completely comfortable the entire time we were filming together. That's actually a great factor and a great point there because comfortability, accommodation, and comfortability goes a long way with anything, whether you're in a scene, whatever endeavor that you do. So I got to ask you with the comfortability side of things, first and foremost, I know you're very big into like the strap on scenes as well. So for you getting a hold of that and really showcasing yourself there and just letting loose, that had to feel good for you creatively, but also from the sensual side as well. Yes, yes, definitely. It's something that I like to do in, in my personal life as well. So yeah, it's, 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 it does get me off. <laughs> I understand it. And I look at it from a stance too, as well, from where you are now. So exploring your sensuality, and I think everybody needs to do this, whether it's from your teen years into your adult years, it's one of the things where it's, it's a very, some would say it's very taboo from what we're used to, but now we're in the year 2022. We mentioned only fans, many vids, it's all over. Let your freak flee, let the freak flag fly, as they say. So yeah. for you as well, exploring your sensuality, how has that gone from your teen years to your adulthood and really getting out there and providing the adult content, but also content that's very quality based for a lot of your, you know, consumers and content creators? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm sorry, repeat the question again. <laughs> sure, let me repeat it. So from where you were from your teen years to adulthood, and I mean, everybody mm -hmm. has to explore their sensuality. So yes. for, how great is that for you to really just, you know, as they say, let their freak flag fly, but also at the mm -hmm. same time, you know, showcase and show off and really find comfortability and confidence in yourself on screen and behind the camera? Yeah, um, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Uh, you know, uh, when I was a teenager into my young adulthood, uh, you know, it was very... Uh, I would call vanilla. <laughs> uh, and then as I got older, got to explore things. Um, I would say that, the, that, you know, there's a lot out there and it's an amazing world. I mean, some stuff's not for me, but um, some stuff is for me and I, I, I'm having a blast uh, doing it. I'm having fun doing it. As it is with everything in life, you got to have fun. If you're not having fun, then why do it? And I look at it from yep. it's with you, like, first of all, with the modeling side of things, everything is really evolutionized and revolutionized. We start, I mean, from our perspective and our overall perceptions, we saw like the Tyra Bankses and the America's top models throughout the years. Then you see beautiful women like Ashley Graham, women like yourself from the plus side of things, really evolutionized and revolutionizing. So for you being the beautiful plus size talent that you are and the beautiful woman that you are, that's also got to be feel good from the plus side side of things because everybody it's a great marketed category for a lot of adult consumers you know yeah yes yeah and and i had um i had a, a big inspiration uh somebody helped me boost my confidence her name is april flores she's also a, an adult film star um i've been a fan of her since 2008 and uh, absolutely just enjoy watching her films watching her sexuality watching her confidence um She's just, she is a good role model for us big, uh, us bigger women. Which I'm going to say right now, and I think from the male point of view, as I speak here and my overall love and respect for women, I got to thank my mom for that because my mom was my hero, one of my biggest influences. I look at it from a stance too as well. <sighs> And it's so funny because unfortunately in today's day and age, you would think we've really come a long way from like shaming and just ignorance, but no, it's still out there, unfortunately. Oh yeah. 
I remember in my teen years, like if a girl was interested in me, I, I didn't care what they were. If you're interested in me, we build connections, we build vibes, relationships, friendships, what have you. And I'll be honest with you. And this is where my preference and my, you know, you know, my path goes, but it's one of those things where a lot of big girls, plus size girls were into me. And I had no problem with that. It's the voluptuosity factor. There's a lot of stuff with that. I'm going to say this, send some love and respect to all the big girls out there. Y'all got that confidence and swag about you. It's like, Hey, say what you want about me. This is me. Here I am. So I love, yep. I love the confidence and swag. And I see that in you as well, Miss Rebel. Yeah. 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 Because we are sexual beings. Uh, We like having sex just like anybody else does, you know, then that's, that's the message, you know, that, that is out there. And I, I, I want to keep that message going. As it should. And I look at it from the body positivity science as well. And I mean, look at the key word there, positivity and showcase yeah. your body, because I mean, work of art that they are, we're talking about body here. So, I mean, in today's yeah. day and age, it's great yeah. to show that the freedom side and the liberating side, and you just let it flow. Yes. <laughs> and for you as well, first and foremost, the marketing side of things, like the name Rebel Rocker. Well, first of all, mm-hmm. love, the name. love the name. Thank you. You're welcome. It shows it has a lot of great validity to who you are as a person. So let me let me talk about this here because the Rebel Rocker name, love it, live it. And for you, how did that come into fruition? Like, hey, I'm going to call myself Rebel Rocker. Where did the name come from? Where did it stem from? And how does it really suit you as a whole? Um, well, I've always always kind of been a rebellious person um (laughs) my mom would say (laughs) I never listened to her growing up and you know why start now um I mean but I wasn't a terrible kid I didn't always get into trouble you know I graduated from high school um you know but after high school I ended up getting pregnant and having kids um I didn't exactly go the route that I had planned for myself um but uh, the rebel, the rebel aspect of it, is, you know, like the rebellious me. And then the rocker came in there because I like rock music. Um, I, I just I it's one of my favorite one of my favorite things to listen to when I'm having a bad day is rock music and, you know, just banging my head or, you know, listening in the car. So, yeah, I was just like rebel and then rocker, you know, and, you know, I it, it fits me. <laughs> Oh, it does. And I mean, somebody put on some headbangers ball right now. Give me some Ricky Ratman. Hello. But no, yeah. <laughs> it, it's one of those things I can respect that because there's so much different variety in music and a variety in the adult entertainment industry. Yeah. I'm going to say with you as well, first of all, being rebellious, it's it's so funny you bring that up because we are destined or we are designed, so to speak, to go a certain path. You know, you graduate high school, you go right to college and then this mm-hmm. you. You, first of all, God bless. A child is an extension of the parent. God bless you doing your things with your kids. That's wonderful. Yeah. Important. But also at the same time, we don't always have to steer on the same path of, okay, let's go to college. Let's do the job thing. Boom. Some of us go in different directions and that's not a bad thing, but it's always yeah. made me laugh because it's like, you don't do it the traditional way. That's like, what are you doing? It's like, no, we can, we can go different avenues and showcase our creativity in many different lights, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Totally. Well, it's almost like, and I'll say this to you, I think you can agree with me with this comparison. Everybody lives in like black and white. You know, there is some gray areas right here, folks. You know, you, there's nothing wrong with doing a little of the gray areas. A mixture of both. Yeah. That's a little balance, right? Yep. Yep. Life's about balance. Beautifully. And I, I look at it from a stance too as well. Life is an art form and we are all applying our crafts. And I mean, for you, I think the crafts are just going to become even more and more exponentially as we get longer into your career here, Ms. Never Walker. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. And I'm sure you're excited to what the future holds. I mean, you've showcased oh, yeah. yourself with Chelsea and Sydney and Jeff's models. I've also seen you do some stuff with Swiney and Angus on your many vids, yes. little little threesome action. So for you, the many vids side of things, we get a lot of great sample clips. How is that working out for you? Because you've been killing it on many vids in your own right thus far. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Um, I, working with them, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'd love to work with them again. Um, uh, but yes, the, the mini vids things, I mean, there's rules that you, you, there's certain things you can't do, but the things that you can do, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's very wide, it's wider, you know, in terms of like, uh, again, you could ha- can create what you want to create as long as it's within their rules, so to speak. And, um, again, being in control of it, being in control of it, um, you know, trying to come up with my own material. Uh, um, it's It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. I mean, like, you know, uh, how am I feeling today? Am I feeling horny housewife or am I feeling, am I, am, or am I feeling like I'm going to go have sex with a, a beautiful woman and use my strap on type, type thing, you know? Right. And, and so it, it's fun having 
it's fun having a variety of of um things that i like to do and it shows and i mean you get to tell your story in a different variety and i think that's first of all that's a plus in anything you need to have a variety and also at the same time well, we'll get to the rebel side here with the yeah. <laughs> guidelines that we also see, which it can be hard because, I mean, there's stuff that we've seen worse, but then they shut you down. And I know I've touched upon this with many guests and then with the many plus size talent and big girls like yourself. Unfortunately, Instagram is a pain in the butt on that. Where yeah. you, That's the thing that always gets me about that, because Instagram, with everything that happens on that site and any social media platform, there's so much worse. And then a certain particular group or what have you gets targeted. And it's ridiculous, right? It, it is. And that's kind of why I haven't started an Instagram account, because I don't want to put my energy or time into it just for someone to be not like something that I put and then just, you know, it gets deleted. And it's, 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 I don't really think it's beneficial for me <laughs> to have an, an Instagram. No, I, I understand. And I also, I look at it from TikTok side of things because TikTok is another one that's very strict. Now, mind you, there's dancing videos and there's other stuff that's in the TikTok verse, if you will. But it's like, you could have like a little like bikini or something and they'll ding you for that, which is ridiculous, but also at the same time, yeah. get it but it's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, I believe that if the parts are covered, we're, it should, it should be fine. You know what I mean? Right. Within reason, I guess, you know, I, I don't know. I'm. <laughs> I feel, but no, it's like the prime example that I always use. Cause I'm a pop culture nerd. And I think you can agree with me on this when MTV before they stopped playing music. And I say that, <laughs> I say that just because it's all reality. I remember me. them days. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that's the thing too like growing up in the 90s and like trl's all the rage with the different variety and carson daly and they're going to cancun and you see these beautiful girls in bikinis like mm -hmm. that's acceptable you know what i'm saying i'm fine with that there's 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 stuff between fine and tasteful and then there's just out of the ordinary as long as you're not going too far out of the box i think you're fine yeah yeah they um they used to have that uh the was it called the grind on mtv yeah buddy Yep. <laughs> yep, I remember. I mean, that was like that was like that was like the 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 I don't want I don't want to say Soul Train, but they had Soul Train on uh because I'm from the Bay Area. It was on channel two. Yep. And then um and the, you know, Soul Train and you know, everybody was clothed, but then MTV had their version, it was called the grind, and there was um there was another one. I can't think of it right now. No, but I, I know what I you're can't talking about right now. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> but they had like a spring break one, and <laughs> exactly there was like the alternative there. And I remember as a kid, like give me like Saturday mornings, and Soul Train was on like the WB on Channel Eleven in New York. So I remember like. Yeah. That's the thing, too. Like, you have that different variety and alternative of music, but also at the same time, there's many different forms of sensuality. And I think in today's day and age, the fact that we're showcasing it more, we're exuding it more. And I think Twitter has become the space for that with the adult entertainment industry, because you'll see like a sample clip from what have you, whether it be Jeff's models or whatever. So Twitter's a little yeah. bit more friendly toward that realm. Yes. Yeah. And I think with what we have with that realm, with social media, there's many great forms of social media. And you, my friend, are, are all over the Twitterverse. So if you can promote your Twitter, go ahead and head to Flourish. Yeah. It's a uh, uh, Rebel Rocker Triple X. Uh, that's that's my Twitter Twitter handle. <laughs> So definitely follow Rebel Rocker on trip on the uh, Twitter machine. We got her on OnlyFans and many vids, which I believe is the same Rebel Rocker XXX. Yes, yes, yes. Links will be in the description below. And I'm going to say this right now: where people like yourself doing their thing, creating that content, and really showcasing more of what we get to see in the adult entertainment industry. Like I mentioned earlier, the future is bright. And what can we expect going forward for you, Miss Rebel Rocker, on the on the on the content wise, man? I know we we just got a small taste so far, but I know the rest yeah. is going to come. Yeah, I'm 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 hoping for um I'm hoping for a lot more girl girl, a lot more boy girl. Um I'm hoping for um I'm hoping for a variety of of of, of scenes of hotness using my strap on. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then also just the, you know, just the 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 the, the fun stuff, the fun stuff. And I mean, I'm going to say this right now, folks. We talk about the scenes on many vids and OnlyFans. There's a nice little hot scene on many vids with this lovely woman over here doing her thing thing in the shower. So, I mean, we get those shower scenes as well, which is also very yeah. special. So, yeah, you're doing your thing on that. I had to put over the shower scene. It came out really great. 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. There's a lot more great people in this world with the adult entertainment industry, whether it be modeling, fetish, what have you. And it's just going to keep growing and amplifying. And you are doing exceptionally well. And I can't wait to see what happens in the future. So Rebel Rocker, do you have any final words for the fans for the short time that you've been in the industry? Do you have any final fans for the people that have been watching you, collecting you, putting all that content into fruition there? Um, just know that I really enjoy it when you get off watching me. It's a huge turn on. So don't be afraid to reach out and, you know, let me know that I got you off. <laughs> hey, you're, you're a pleasurable person. And I am one of those people that are pleasured by your experiences. So <laughs> there's, there's a lot of great, beautiful women out there and you are one of many. And I'm going to put the overture out here once more. Anytime you want to come back on the show, you are more than welcome to. Awesome. I, I, I will. I would love to come back. <laughs> hey, I always love talking to you. You're very vibrant. You're beautiful and you're very sensual human being. And I always enjoy these open-minded conversations because that's what we need people open-mindedness, just explore your horizons and expand them. So before, yeah. before we close this out, rebel rocker, R squared rocking to the break of break of dawn. I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. As I always yeah. say on the show. Yeah. Beauty straight. The <laughs> There it is. <laughs> I always say on this show, beauty, strength, and dominance, the three key elements that make women the work of art that they are. And Rebel Rocker, I include you in those sentiments. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome.